This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1728. Top Tips to Tighten and Tone Your Abs by Shalene Johnson of shaleenjohnson.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Monday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I act as your narrator of the best health and fitness blogs, all for free. And always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now, don't forget, we have lots of shows covering a bunch of different topics. Just search for Optimal Living Daily in any podcast app to find them. And with that, let's keep this intro nice and short. So let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Top Tips to Tighten and Tone Your Abs by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. Tighten and tone your abs with these helpful tips. When getting in better shape, so many people set a goal to tighten and tone. People ask me all the time how to get a chiseled core. So I put together a list of my top tips to tighten and tone your tummy. It takes hard work and dedication, but if you follow my advice, you'll see results. Top tips to tighten and tone your abs. One, eat clean. Abs are made in the kitchen. You hear this all the time, and it's true. Only 20% of your physical results come from exercise. 80% is based on your diet. So if you want abs, you must eat clean. This means eating more whole foods by cutting out the processed junk. Two, use high-intensity interval training for cardio. Not all cardio is created equal. High-intensity interval training, or HIIT, is a superior form of cardio that's scientifically shown to burn more fat than your traditional cardio workout. To see your abs, you have to get rid of the subcutaneous fat on top of your muscles. Since high-intensity interval training burns nine times more fat than your typical cardio workout, you've got to mix it into your routine if you want faster results. Three, strength train three times per week. Again, to see your abs, you need to reduce your body fat. And to reduce your body fat, you need more muscle. No matter how much you work out now, you won't see the same results if you aren't strength training three times per week. Lifting weights drastically changes your body. Lift heavy weights to build more muscle and truly change your body composition. Four, train your core off the floor. Most people think the only way to train your core is to lie down on the floor and do a bazillion crunches. Not true. In fact, you're likely to have stronger, more defined abs by training them standing up. Just take a look at any boxer, volleyball player, gymnast, or tennis player. They have great abs, and it's not from doing crunches. A regular old crunch on the floor really only tones your outermost layer of your abdominals, your rectus abdominis. Functional exercises, on the other hand, incorporate all layers. Believe it or not, one of the very best ways to train your abs is by doing push-ups. They target all of your core muscles from the front to the back. Five, add resistance to your ab workout. If you insist on training on the floor with crunches, at least add some resistance to make your exercises more effective. Use a resistor ball or pick up a weight. Your goal is to get your muscles to fail. By failing, they break down and build back up even stronger, helping you burn even more calories. Six, count your calories. Different health and fitness professionals will tell you different things, but this is my personal opinion based on over 20 years working in the fitness industry, especially with those that identify as female. If you want to lose weight and see your abs, you have to count your calories. Just following the latest diet trend won't cut it. You see, diet plans are created for the average person. So based on your body type, you could actually gain weight even if you're eating super healthy. You need to know how many calories you're burning to know how many you can take in. And if you're really serious about your results, you'll invest in a calorie monitoring device so you have an accurate idea of what you can afford calorie-wise. 7. Get more sleep. Every day it seems we have more and more substantial research coming from top universities proving that the amount of sleep you get affects your weight. In one study, a group of people who slept for 8 hours each night was compared to a group that got only 5.5 hours each night. They had the same diet and exercise regimen, but guess who had almost 50% greater success in losing fat? Those who got the 8 hours of sleep. So go to bed early. And eight, reduce your stress. When under stress, 
our bodies cope and attempt to protect us by creating more fat and holding on to it, especially in your midsection. Take steps to reduce the amount of stress in your life, and not only will you feel better, you'll look better too. You just listened to the post titled, Top Tips to Tighten and Tone Your Abs by Shaleen Johnson of shaleenjohnson.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I want to mention something about that last tip, managing stress. You might think that stress and weight gain or body fat gain is a myth. Unfortunately, it's not a myth. Researchers have repeatedly found that long-term stress seems to trigger the body to hold on to more fat, and not just any old fat, dangerous fat, fat that likes to collect around the belly. It turns out that fat found around the belly or abdomen behaves very differently than fat that's found in other places on the body. For example, fat around the hips isn't as harmful to the body. Now, how is that possible? Well, it turns out that fat found around the belly triggers the release of different chemicals than those found around the hips. These fat cells in the abdomen trigger more inflammation in the body, which increases risk for chronic diseases like heart disease, cancer, and stroke. And again, sadly, long-term stress seems to contribute to the body holding on to this more dangerous fat around the belly. So yes, managing your stress can help you reduce your body fat, and especially the dangerous kind. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great start to your week, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.